Thank you, Anand. A company manager was flying across a desert in a hot air balloon when he realized that he's lost his way. The man, uh, he calls down to a camel rider down on the desert and asks him, where am I? The man replies, you're 20 degrees north, 90 degrees west, 50 meters above the ground, and you're moving in a easterly direction. The balloonist thanked him and then replied, by the way, are you a data scientist or an application developer? The camel rider started gloating and asked him, yes, damn yes, I am. How did you know? The balloonist said, everything that you told me was so accurate, you gave me way more information than what I needed, but I still have no idea what I need to do. The camel uh, analyst, he replied, oh, by the way, I'm sorry, but are you a company manager? The balloonist said, yes, how did you know? The analyst said, well, you have no idea where you are, no idea which direction you are heading in. You got yourself into this mess by blowing a lot of hot air, and now you expect me to get you out of it. So basically, this is the story of what actually happens uh, when we deal with data in, uh, in many organizations. Good afternoon, everyone. I thank Team ISG for two reasons. First, for organizing the Smart Utility Week year on year for so many years now. And secondly, for having called me here to chair the session on one of the most informant, uh, important topics that normally doesn't get the attention it deserves, the advanced uh, applications and analytics. I would not go into the specifics of the topic as there are wonderful panelists here who are authorities on the subject, and therefore I would like to restrict myself on the fringes and the ecosystem front. A lot can be done on the analytics and the applications, only sky is the limit, uh, in getting meaningful information out of a humongous data that the energy networks produce today. And when we start talking about smart meters, it would not be out of place to say that the, the data is not only humongous, it is humong humongous to the power of two. I started that small story for a simple reason. The reason was that when we deal with this humongous amount of data, there are immense opportunities, but in the zeal to do all kind of data analytics and getting into advanced applications, we should not lose our way in the dreary desert sand of meaningless information. So on one hand, we could deliberate on immense possibilities that data analytics provide to us, let us also stop and think. Think on what we should not be doing in the data analytics and application front. While I'll make three quick points, I'll beg an excuse if I uh, end up exaggerating a bit. Firstly, data analytics is not to be treated as an end in itself. It is just a means. Many times we lose perspective as to what is the purpose that we are using the analytics for. The purpose here is actionable information and in course actionable information that would help in the current context of the problems. We would certainly not want our bandwidth to be clogged with information on problems in the Russian doll industry when what we need to solve is a simple problem in my washing machine. In short, let's not keep the focus only on billing and collection as it's normally talked about in places such as Delhi, uh, Dadar and Nagar Haveli, Kerala, and any, many other places where the loss levels are low. There are other opportunities as well. DSM, load profiling, peak shaving, load planning, and a large number of others. We should not be unclear as to what we aim data analytics or advanced applications are supposed to do. Doing it just for the heck of it solves no purpose. I raise this point just because many times technological interventions end up more as a tool to create even more technology. That is not our aim. Clarity has to be there in the management as to what the current problems are that we need to solve. And I'm not transfixed on the current problems only. I'm just saying that the roadmap for solving problems has to be clear with priorities on problems that are on hand today with future problems in the next phase. And that brings us uh, that 
uh, the, to the requirement of the oft-repeated word use case, use case which has been talked in the last session also. Uh, it is of paramount importance to create use cases that are important today and also the desirable use cases that may be of uh, importance tomorrow. Second th secondly, this also brings us to the fact that if the technology deployed is not future ready, and I pick up from where Mr. Badwa left, uh, or does not integrate with the existing systems, it doesn't serve my purpose. If the analytics is not doing anything on my existing system, or any kind of system which is not integrating with my existing system, is not future ready, or uh, has a problem on obsolescence front, we cannot take it forward, then it's of no use. We have seen this with experience in the utilities as a part of previous government programs that we have uh, been doing for the last 12, 15 years, wherein obsolescence management as well as integration with current systems and future technologies has been seen to be a problem. While we may do things in piecemeal because we cannot do everything at the same time, we need to be clear that the ultimate objective is to ensure an all-encompassing management information system where all the applications and analytics in the IT, OT space talk to each other intelligently. Thirdly, and most importantly, again something which is generally left out, uh, but uh, normally uh, it, 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 I, I feel very strongly about it personally, and that is we should not design analytics or applications which produce information that does not register with the target audience. The information and analytics has to be presented in such a frame that ensures that the eyeballs of the target audience actually come out of their sockets upon seeing it. That is what we look for. We need to be further aware that we are living in an information abundance world where we are tired of multiple no uh, mobile notifications, totally bored and uh, irritated with endless pings and tings on our mobile phones, emails, etc. In other words, we live in a world with a lot of competing information vying for at our attention. We need to make that information coming out of our analytics so interesting that no consumer or no utility ever switches off or does not even have a look at that information by blo blocking notifications on mobile phones or through, your, uh, through the uh, computer screens. Ultimately, management needs information for action and that action uh, will come from the information which that management will actually register. The application could be throwing out very intelligent information, but if it is sent out in a boring way or in a way which is, which is not getting registered with people, nothing will come out of it. That, in the end, I would say that that and only that would lead us to say that, uh, uh, that the data analytics or advanced applications have been uh, uh, successful in the energy sector. This is the only way by which it can be successful. Otherwise, ultimately, it will just boil down to someone selling Maggie or someone buying Maggie, which will create some private incentive somewhere with some vendors or system integrators, but will hardly have any public value. I'll be grateful if this distinguished panel can also deliberate uh, these things uh, apart from what they are actually planning to do right now because uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Uh, intelligent information has to be intelligent in a way that it registers with the management, with the consumers, and with all the stakeholders concerned. Thank you so much, and thank you ISGF for uh, inviting me here.